Hello, this is Sal. Today we will be talking about the AAA a radius and tack axe. AAA, it is a way to centralize policies that are applied and configured to network devices. And it is authorizing a user with a username and a password before they even access the network. This user can have access to the network devices that are connected or been configured to use AAA server. There are two authentication protocols, RADIUS and TACAX. RADIUS stands for Remote Authentication Dial-in Service, and it is an open standard protocol that combines authentication and authorization into one single process. Once the users are authenticated, they are also authorized. RADIUS uses UDP for authentication and authorization. On the other hand, TACAX, which is stand for Terminal Access Control, Access Control System, it is a Cisco proprietary a protocol and it uses TCP rather than UDP. And unlike RADIUS, it separates the authentication from authorization and accounting services. In this topology, I have a AAA server which has the IP address 172.16.1.254 which is connected to the switch. The switch is connected to multiple routers. Now, when we integrate, I have users are configured here with their passwords, but when we configure the router with the AAA authentication and integrate the router with the AAA server. The authenticated users and their password saved on the local database of the router are no longer used or would be used only if the AAA server or this port is done, if this triple server is unavailable or if this port for some reason was shut down or cut or so this is only when the, l the user can access the router using their username and password saved on the local database on the router or the network device. The command AAA new model will enable a new access control commands and functions. And this would disable all the old commands were configured on the local router's database. So now let's go to router 1. As I said, on router 1 I have two users on this router 1. Sal and Lisa. Enable Cisco. So now show run pipe include user. We have two users. So let's see if router 1 can ping router 4. 172.16.1.4 and it can. Let's see if it can ping the AAA server. 172.16.1.254 and it can. So now I'll go, you know, I'll just make things easy to try to configure the AAA server on router 1, router 2, and router 3 to make you th understand it better how this is configured. Here on router 1 configure terminal AAA a new model now we want to use the TACAX on TACAX group or the TACAX uh, server for router 1 and here we have two options first to specify a TACAX server and the word is host and we want to use a AAA server on 172.16.1.254 IP address and the second option TACAC server is the key. In this example, we want to use 
Cisco as a key. Now for authentication, AAA authentication. For login, default. Default means that this authentication method is going to be applied to all the lines on the router or device like BTY lines, console lines, etc. Group it will TACAX group and if for some reason TACAX is not available to use local. Now router 1 is ready but we still need to integrate. Now we have two users as we said on router 1, Lisa and Sal, they can access router 1 locally. The second or the minute we are going to integrate the router with a AAA server, whatever username and password are saved on the local database will no longer be used. So go to the server. I'll show you that we are configuring this IP address with the submit mask and the gateway for the AAA server. Go to services, uh, AAA, and we will turn it on. The client name in this example is router1, and router1 is with the IP address of 172.16.1.1. And the secret, the secret we used on the router, which is Cisco. And here the server type, we want to use the triple server as a TACAC server. And then click add. So now let's go. We still did not configure any user. We did not set up any user here. So let's go and see if we still can use the, the username and password are saved on the local router. Exit and again exit. So let's uh, we have Lisa and Sal. Let's start with Sal. Sal and the password is Cisco and login is invalid. Let's try with Lisa. Lisa also with the password of Cisco and again it's telling us the login is invalid because we no longer when we configure the router to use the AAA authentication we can no longer use any local uh, database here. So let's go to the server and here we will configure a user of user one and let us give just to make things easy for us in this example the same password but we cannot do this but you know we have to here to clarify things and make things easy to remember and here we will add user1 let's go back to the router and we will use user1 password of Cisco enable and we are able to sign up configure terminal so now let's go to router2 also we will do the same is they are the same steps nothing complicated again here we can sign in using cell as a username and password of Cisco so these credentials are saved in the local database for of router 1 now we want to authenticate router 2 to use the AAA authentication and the AAA server. Configure terminal AAA, the same new model. And here, TACAC server host once again the same AAA server on 172.16.1.254 and the same key, the same key of Cisco now to enable a AAA authentication authentication for login default the same we will use the group of TACAX and if for some reason it is not available our 
second option will be to log in using the local database so let's go again to the server and do the same the client name in this example which is router2 and the IP address of 172.16.1.2 and we want to use the same secret of Cisco and the server type will be TACAX and add so let's go again to router2 exit exit let's try to sign in as Lisa and it's telling us login is invalid so go back to the server we have username user1 with the password of Cisco user1 Cisco and we are Cisco and we are able to sign in now let's assume that we have a new user we hired a new network admin and for this network admin we told him you know just he needs to go on all the network devices on in the company to do some work you know and this user's name is John and we told him okay to make things easy he suggested he wants to use his last name as a Smith as his password and we added him so John is using his last name as a Smith as a password and he told him okay please go and do some work on router 1 so he came to router 1 and sign in as John and Smith and he was able to sign in Cisco and then he said okay I'm done with working on router 1 so let's try to work on router 2 and he went there and he signed in as John and he used his last name as a Smith as a password but Cisco as an enable password so we'll do the same with router 3 nothing fancy and everything just follow the steps and so on router 3 I'm repeating it here to make you know things very easy to understand so now we're still with router 3 we did not integrate it with the AAA server so Sal he can sign in enable and enable password of Cisco and now we told them that we want to integrate also router 3 to, to centralize the authentication into the AAA server so the network admin he came in to do their configuration uh, configure terminal AAA new model TACAC server host we, he will be using the same host uh, AAA server 172.16.1.254 and for the TACAX server key also we told them to use the same key and now for the AAA authentication for login default to the group of TACAX TACAX group is unavailable for some reason also our second option to use the local database and then we need to do the same to configure it on router 3 on the AAA server router 3 the IP address of 172.16.1.254 and the Cisco, the secret of Cisco, and to use TACAX group and then add. So now we have uh, local users with their passwords configured on the 
local database of Sal and Lisa and then they try to come in to work one day and Lisa try to sign in and her password was Cisco she couldn't only these two users we configured on the AAA server they can access the routers which are the user one with password Cisco or John who suggested to use his last name as the password are able to access these uh, three routers so uh, John he went to router 3 signed in and he used his last name as the password and he was able to sign in one day configure terminal one day the port for some reason was cut off or somebody shut it down or the AAA server was unavailable so let us shut down this port configure terminal interface 106 shut so John came John Smith he didn't know that the port was down or the AAA server was unavailable try to sign in John came to sign in and with his last name as a password a little pause because the router is trying to connect to the server and he wasn't able to then user 1 came and he said let me try with the password of Cisco and login invalid so now Sally said okay I'll work on it because uh, my username and password are saved on the local database so he signed in as Sal with password of Cisco a little pause here because the router is trying to connect to the server but couldn't find the AAA server and then Sal was able to, con to connect then they fixed the line between or the port between the switch and the AAA server no shut and now we have it back on so now when it is back on Sal or Lisa will not be able to sign in or log in these three routers because uh, it is uh, local their their uh, sign in username and password are saved in the local so only the two users we configured in the AAA server after the line was fixed we will they will be able to connect to the network so user 2 he said okay let me try and see if things are working so, uh, user 1 and uh, signed in with his password and with the in a Cisco as an enabled password and he was able to do his work and things work perfectly so to just to configure you know TACAX for AAA server it's it's very easy you know just follow the steps and know you know the rules and uh, I hope uh, you find what I explained uh, so helpful. So I'll see you next video. Thanks for watching. And this is Sal. Bye.